Hello, loves. How does one get a hair in... How does one get a hair in their eye when there's no hair? I got a hair in my eye. Okay. Um, what am I going to talk to you about? Right. It's still in my eye. Okay, so I'm going to be like blinking like a pirate <laughs> the whole podcast. Anyway, okay, here's the thing. Uh, I want to say a couple things. One, um, with regard to Instagram, um, a lot of you have um, followed us like a couple thousand in the last, like in a real short period of time. So I appreciate you for this. I do. I didn't always um, value that. I didn't really pay attention to it, if I'm being honest. But it's it's very important to me now because I want to know who you are. You know what I mean? And I think by doing that, I'm starting to receive more comments and questions. And this, this, this I like, you know, most of the comments I like. Some, you know. But the interesting thing about the, the feedback that we get is it's either love, which I like, or a little bit of hate, which I don't really mind, you know. Um, some people are very creative, though. Very, very creative. And either way, it gives me kind of an, an idea of kind of where I'm at in the culture of ballet, because here's one thing that I, I think, and, and you tell me if I'm right on this. There seems to be an assumption that I don't like you or I don't like people in ballet or something of this nature. And I'm not sure that that is precisely because, like, unique to me or this is what the ballet culture... D one second, the mirror. The sun is coming to get me. Okay, now it's the other one. One moment, please. Okay, so, and I want to be clear that uh, this is not how I feel at all, you know, and um, not at all, you know. I want to get to know people. I want to see you in the studio. I want to work with, you know, dancers and teachers and choreographers and everybody. That's that's what I'm telling you right now. This is what I'm into. But I think everybody, not everybody, okay, but a lot of you maybe feel as though either that I don't like you or I won't. And let me tell you what I think it really is. And I think this is particularly true for the profession, you know, which would include, you know, the pre-profession. I think it's like this. When you're growing up and you get treated a certain way, you become a certain kind of person. That's a quote, and it's not mine. Who is that? When you get treated treated a certain kind of way, you become a certain kind of person. I think that's a James Baldwin quote, if I'm not mistaken. Fact check me on that. James Baldwin quote, I think. And it's true. You get treated a certain way, you become a certain kind of person. Or, maybe more precisely, you react a certain kind of way to a certain kind of treatment or behavior or what have you. Now here's the thing. I'm like itchy. I think I might have kissed a cat or something, and now I'm itchy, and I got hair, fur in my eye. Um, here's the thing. I did not, and you know this, but I did not grow up in ballet at all. I never even thought about it. Except there's this weird, I have it, maybe I'll show it to you someday. In fifth grade, we, um, in fifth grade history, we were talking about the Soviet Union, because it was still the Soviet Union when I was in fifth grade. And, so, you know, you study your enemy, you know. And so we studied it, I think, for six months, half the year. And I had to write a paper on it. So you write a, a report, really, you know, in fifth grade about different aspects of the country and the government, how it works. And on the culture, I chose ballet for some reason. So I was 10 years old, which I didn't discover ballet till I was 17, 18. Somehow I wrote about ballet when I didn't know anything about it. So that's a little weird. I'll show it to you. I think we have it. I'll show you the report. Life's funny, isn't it? But I didn't grow up in ballet. Therefore, I wasn't treated for better or for worse. I'm not saying bad. I'm just saying just 
the culture environment of ballet is a certain thing. It's been a certain thing for hundreds of years. It hasn't really changed much. But I did not come up that way, whereas many of you did come up that way. Particularly in the profession, you for sure all came up that way. So what we have is not a, not a situation where I don't like you. And maybe you feel sometimes that you don't like me. It's less that, I think, and more of just a cultural difference, right? It's like any other culture. It's like, it's as if we grew up in different countries or something. But it's not that. It's that our country is so diverse, there's every different kind of person here representing, you know, their own culture because it's who they are. I'm married to one, right? So, and there are differences. And so, I think this is at the heart of what if we want to call it a misunderstanding, it's that I will react differently, and I'm not saying negatively, although I have probably, but react differently to a certain mm, stimuli. Like, so if you come talk to me about something ballet, it's likely that you're gonna feel a different vibe from me, even if it's completely positive, which it will be at this point, than you would feel if you talked to somebody who's been in ballet their whole life. Now, I've been in ballet a long time at this point. Um, I got serious about it, like really serious about it in 2000, although I started in 1993, just being a ballet student, normal, and working and everything. But I didn't get serious some years later about wanting to do what I'm doing now, right? So that's still 23 years. So I've been in ballet you know most of my adult life and so I understand the culture right but I'm not from it I'm not from it as a child and this makes a big difference and it's it's not something that you or I can even help it's just it's just the environment of our upbringing right so I'll repeat it one more time because it's a good saying that when you are treated a certain kind of way you become a certain kind of person and more specifically, you react to things based on your treatment, good and bad and everything in between. And we all have that. What I want to suggest is that, and this is kind of to the profession, that maybe we cut our, each other a little slack. I for sure am. Like, I've thought on it for the last few years and gone, yeah, it's just a, a different kind of upbringing. And so I have in the past interpreted things uh, differently than they were meant to be received. Know what I mean? still a hair of mine so I don't know tell me what you think and um, yeah please follow us especially on Instagram that's where all the dance world is um, we're on TikTok also but Instagram like I appreciate it that people are following kind of gives me a sense of uh, it enhances my sense of purpose I guess because I see people following and go okay so this is what you like um, the kind of things you want to hear about by the way we're going to be doing more podcasts that are uh include movement and ballet stuff like visual um, obviously you want to see that we're working on it um but that will be the sort of studio environment this i feel like is like just a personal uh chat i like this a lot i kind of prefer to the studio to be honest with you but of course to show dance we, we need some space so um that's coming quite soon thanks for following please follow more Please encourage your friends and colleagues to follow and uh, leave comments. Leave comments, leave questions. Definitely questions I'm going to prioritize. And uh, But, you know, you're free to leave whatever comments you want. I love love and the hate doesn't really bother me. I, I just choose to learn from it. So I, I do look at it and go, okay, let me think about your point of view. Um, but try to be cool about it, if you would. Most people are at this point. But, um, yeah.